Hello guys, it's Dale here. Today I'll talk about the ES, which is futures for the Standards and Poor's 500 index. So what you see before you is NinjaTrader 8 platform with my custom-made volume profile and view up indicators. You are looking at a 30 minute time frame of the ES. And the first thing that I like to talk about is the shapes of a volume profile and how you can use them in your advantage and how to use them to read the market. So first, I want to talk about this zone. There was a downtrend, right? And there is a way how you can tell that a downtrend is over or at least temporarily over. If you're looking at the daily volume profiles, which are those gray profiles here, they get printed automatically every day then when there is a downtrend, what you want to see is a P-shaped profile. It has shape like letter P. This is a P-shaped profile. What a P-shaped profile is telling us is that a downtrend is most likely temporarily over and that there is either going to be a rotation or an uptrend. But the downtrend is temporarily over, right? The reason is that the P-shaped profile is basically showing us two zones. One zone with low volumes and another zone with heavy volumes, right? This is the zone with low volumes and it seems that the market is not really into uh, going even lower but the price bounced upwards and started to rotate here with heavy volumes. All right, this is what the P-shaped profile is telling us. When you see this after a downtrend, it is a very significant information. Now, when there was this downtrend, I was only looking for short trades because of the downtrend. But now, the volume profile is telling us that downtrend is temporarily over and that means that we can start looking for long trades like for example a long trade from this heavy volume zone long from here there already was a nice reaction to it and another long trade that I have in mind and that I want to show you in today's analysis is the one which I have printed here. The level is 4,288 and it is based on a rejection setup. It is a volume profile setup. This is a rejection of lower prices because the price was dropping aggressively and then it turned and went upwards. So this is a significant rejection of lower prices. Now, what you want to see within the rejection is significant volume bump, like this one. This is a significant volume bump that is showing us a place where buyers started to buy very aggressively and those buyers turned the price here. And this is the place where the buyers were most active. This is the place which is most important for the buyers. And the level which I have here is the beginning of that place, of that zone. So right now I'm waiting for the price to drop here, hit that level and go upwards from there. The price is currently pretty close to the level, so I'm going to be around the computer. I'll have my order flow software opened and I'll be waiting for some kind of confirmation on the order flow around this support zone. You can trade this blindly without order flow and take the long from here when the price hits this level you can take the long from here but if you trade with order flow and if you get confirmation on the order flow then your success rate is going to be way higher all right so that's my take on the es and if you guys are interested in getting more volume profile and order flow education or tools then i recommend visiting my website which is trader-dale.com. And if you click this button, then it will take you to a page where you can browse my courses. This one is called the Elite Pack and it focuses 
on volume profile trading. The other one is called the Auriflow pack and it focuses on day trading with Auriflow. There are videos which you can watch that will show you everything that's included in those packs more in detail. All right, so that's about that. That's about today's video. I hope you guys found it helpful and I will be looking forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy trading.